Let me stop. Let me go back. Let me go back. Okay. So, hey y'all. This is for Marriage Boot Camp Episode 3. I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm going to go ahead and slide on in this thing. So, I take my notes. So, all right. The third episode starts off with Soulja Boy and Nia. Oh, this is what I remember, y'all. He's being a bitch-ass nigga to her, of course. Um, She had saved the plate for him. He ain't wanted or something, went up the stairs, and then was like on some, asked her to fix the plate again, made the girl go cook, and she went like a fool. And Tammy was the only one with some common sense at that time in the kitchen, was like his ass can come downstairs and make his own breakfast or can eat. So not only are you making breakfast for him, but you walking your ass up there like, no, no, ma'am. Oh, no, ma'am. Oh, shit. Look, I spoke too soon in the last uh, review or in the first review. I had said Tammy explained the flight situation to everybody about Waka Flocka, about that girl or whatever. And then Waka Flocka was blaming that bitch. Child, I must have watched the episode three because I watched it first. And I was like, oh, wait, a lot of shit is going on. Let me go back. And I must have thought that shit was in episode one. So, spoiler alert, but if y'all up to date like I am, you was probably just looking at that shit like, bitch, what the fuck? No, my bad. Um, so for the first exercise for the third day, they have these big ass 7XL pants to squeeze in, and it's like, who wears the pants exercise? Basically what the doctors tell us is that it's a who is more aggressive and who is more passive test, right? So they all gotta do different shit. Wash the clothes, and that was Jessica, Dime, and Sean. Exercise, and that was Lil Mo and Carl. Make up the beds, that was Lil Fizz, Sash, Drew, and Tiffany. Clean the pool area, which was Waka Flocka and motherfucking Tammy. Then washing the dishes, Soldier Boy and Nia. Soulja Boy, stupid. Soulja Boy was just being extra. It was all out of order. He was just annoying her. Like, all you have to do is dry. I'm literally cleaning, doing the hard work. All you gotta do is dry. And he wasn't even doing that. Just sitting, watching her fucking work. And it's like, oh, well, I'll dry it after you done type of shit. That shit is annoying, my nigga. We are in the same pants, so why are you being extra? So Jessica Dom and Sean was just saying how they want to control each other, so they're gonna see how this work out. Lil Mo and Carl, hella funny working out, bro. They are hella funny. I'm telling you, Lil Mo is good TV. I wanna see more of her and her dude. They are hilarious. Hilarious. Soldier Boy and Nia, uh uh he just doesn't understand the exercise obviously because he's just being a bitch and i honestly nia is losing her cool it's understandable but also like worded differently you get more flies with honey so she just needs to approach it differently like i would have been like you know what i'm saying we can go ahead and finish them now so while i wash you dry at the same time so we can get this over with and go lay down and chill Make it appealing for both. You know what I mean? Even though you shouldn't have to do that with your boyfriend who is a fucking child. But whatever. Waka Flocka and Tammy, they are funny as hell. He then fell in the pool. Had her in there. Messed up her hair and her yeezus. The doctors did point out, though, that he creates the fires to put them out. Then flashback to fucking Soldier Boy and Nia. He's still a child. She finally gets the fuck out of the pants and reads the fuck out of him. Like, she knows she ain't shit, but she's still there. And honey, I understand, but this shit is just hard to fucking see. It's, it, it's just exhausting. The fucking TV. Like, whoo, girl, that is just too much. 
Dr. Ish and V was basically saying how they push each other to the limit, all that type of shit. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Lil Fizz and Drew. Lil, okay, so Drew, I'm going to say Drew because whatever. So Drew and Tiffany, they done, I guess, making up everybody beds and they land together. And Tiffany playing hard to get. And I'm like, girl, thank God. That's the least you can do. Because you already fucking looking crazy for it, continuously being on this show. So I'm glad that at least she's not giving up the Punani that easy. That's at least a better look. I'm telling you. Because you would look crazy as shit. And it's only third day. Oh, girl, please. Oh, girl, please. So then Mia's sitting down outside. And Soldier Boy comes up and asks her, so you straight? I was just like, oh my god. He's such an ass. He's such an ass while he's trying to light a blunt, okay? Ask her if she's straight. Laughs it off, and she's like, no, but we gotta do the exercise, so it's whatever. And he's like, okay, so you straight. Like, mm, all right. And Dr. V talking about someone that's something like an apology. I'm like, bitch, that ain't no goddamn apology. Ugh. So they second exercise was an obstacle course. So they had to walk up this hill in the pants and then they had to go through this obstacle course in this pimped out golf court. And not only did the person who's the most dominant have to drive, but they were blindfolded. Bitch. So a couple who wins gets a nice dinner for two. And then everybody else got to eat peanut butter and jelly. Which, you know what I'm saying? Peanut butter and jelly isn't my go-to meal. But I can shit. I can fuck up some peanut butter and jelly. Y'all sleep with some milk? What? Hold on. That would have... Look, I would have been cool. But anyway. So, Soulja Boy and Nia are first. And they were a disaster. Like, he was driving. Just fucking up everything. Went through everything in the obstacle course, destruction, all the way out. And then they took 5 minutes and 18 seconds to cross. All right. So Waka Flocka and Tammy. Now, first thing I thought was, oh, Tammy's ass needs to drive. And I was correct. She was driving and daytime was 420. Now, when they was talking to them, they were saying how Tammy wasn't asking for clarification. And then even afterwards, girl, they was just cursing at each other on the course and off off of it like it was just ridiculous jessica and sean i'm surprised they didn't have jessica dom's ass driving the car but they have her do because because he's trying to dominate her and what she wants to do i get it now never mind so i get why they have him even though they say that they would like to control each other or they want to control each other sean definitely wants to control her to another whole nother level but they were good I, 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 I was like, oh, yeah, shit, they need to win because the way, the way Don was talking to him, she was talking to him slow and steady, and then they got through it. it took them two minutes and 45 seconds, so they they set the mark, right? I thought they did damn good. So then Lil Mo and Carl, Lil Mo driving, right, which is expected, and Carl was cool, was good because he was like, you know what I'm saying, you got it, it's all right, everything's cool, you got it. And they got through with two minutes and 50 something, right? So then, last people was Drew and Tiffany, right? Idiots was just arguing. He was just going fast. But they got through in two minutes and 38 seconds. So they were the fastest people, right? Now, even though they were the fastest people, the judges was like, it's not based off of who's faster. It was based off of who's the most successful, right? The experiment was based off of dominance the whole day. So it was like most successful throughout the whole day would be Mo and Carl because Mo let Carl take the lead and she took the back step even when they was working out. The way they positioned each other was smart and he was doing really majority of the work. And then um, all day, the losers was, they said, uh, Drew and Tiffany. And I just don't agree. I just do not motherfucking agree. Why? Because Drew... Job. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Uh, all right. So.
What was I talking about? Mm-mm. What was I talking about? Mm-mm. Oh, basically they make it seem like Drew and Tiffany didn't win because Tiffany wouldn't lay down with him. And it's like, I feel you, but she should. they shouldn't even be here. I just don't understand how Drew and Tiffany are the losers when Soulja Boy and Nia was arguing all goddamn day and got out of the fucking pans while doing the chore. Although Tiffany got out of the pants as well, but it was after they were done, I believe, and they were laying down and she didn't want to lay down with him. And I was just like, I just don't understand how they were the losers. I thought that, I thought that was like, oh, Rick, Rick. And then motherfucking Soldier Boy that was hella destructive. I just, not even with the bowls that she broke, last bowl, and he fucked up the goddamn obstacle course. I'm just shocked that they didn't lose. I was like, they should have been the losers. So afterwards, Jessica Dime and Sean talking shit. They mad that they got to even pee pee and Jane. Like I said before, it ain't that goddamn bad. Get you some milk and you good. Have you some grape jelly? Ooh, and Jeff, listen, Linda, listen, don't sleep. Don't sleep on PB and J. Peanut butter gets you right. All right, so when they go back, one of the twists to the people who lost, they have to be the people who serve the winners, right? And I'm talking about they have to make potatoes, steak, and all that, right? So they have to serve Lil Mo and Carl. Those are people who won. They give these niggas a bell, and these niggas was clowning. When I tell you good TV, good tv this nigga kept fucking dropping the towel though like a whole ass nigga and then they kept ringing the bell and then when they got there um nothing it's all right i'll come um i can't remember or asking for shit that they don't need nigga asking for pretzels and shit like that drew spilling soda on they ass when he bringing the pretzels out, this nigga falling and shit, doing damn well, just doing the most. Pretzels going everywhere, putting pretzels all over their fucking plates. Then, um, what's it call it? Motherfucking Tiffany putting cayenne pepper in the peppers that they ate the last night. Fucking potatoes and a steak. And that's what I'm saying. You don't fuck with people who make your food, bro. That shit is wild. These motherfuckers had their mouths on Fire, okay, Alicia Keys, for real, for real. Then, child, um, when they brought out the motherfucking place, Fizz literally takes a bite of the steak, like he was sick of that shit. Tiffany threw the bell in the damn jacuzzi. It was just extra. While that debacle was happening, Walker flock and Tam. Tammy was talking to Walker about how he words things and how that gets under her skin. And Walker said her passion and arguments is just aggressive and it just does a lot, does too much. And Tammy says she sees things Walker does it. Walker just doesn't want to put energy in it, right? Me, like, I get that, but it's like obviously because that makes her mad and that makes her feel some type of way. I understand why I put energy in it, but she feels the type of way. So like the doctor said, right, you have to identify and speak how you feel, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. But she doesn't learn how to communicate that without having so much aggression. I get that. She gets that after Judge Tala gets on her ass for the next motherfucking uh, exercise to end off the night. Judge in front of their peers again. Judge Tala was talking to Waka Flocka and Tammy first about um, how she be popping off. And she asked Tammy if she got what he meant. And with her answer, she was basically like, okay, well, I know you definitely didn't get what he meant. First thing first, I'm talking to you as if you was my daughter. You know I care and all some shit. And then when she starts crying, she's like, oh, okay, well, you definitely my daughter on some shit. And that was cute. Basically, just Tala was like, you know what I'm saying, fighting isn't good for your body. I'm just trying to help you. Because Tammy was just going back and forth with her. She just wasn't understanding that she does have some anger somewhere. You can be ready to talk when somebody else just got done talking like it has to be pauses in the middle of conversations and like I got that so it's just like I love watching this show because it's like even then I'm still learning things about even with my life and just think just because I'm quick with it that's just something that's really always good even though I feel like 
I'm listening to that person. I am still getting ready for what the fuck I want to say. Because I'm like, okay, well, you said this. Well, I want to say this. So it's like really dissecting what somebody's telling me so I can respond. But I get it. I get it. And Tammy got it too when she explained it. The doctors were saying how they feel like Tiffany's just broken hearted and things like that. And then when Carl and Lil Mo just totally complimented him, which is saying how he kept reminding her how she's good throughout the obstacle course. Uh, Jessica Dime and Sean, they basically saying, my nigga, y'all need to open up more. We don't know y'all business. We can't really give y'all a motherfucking synopsis if I don't know who the fuck you are. So please argue in front of us. That's basically what they were saying. And then Soldier Boy and Nia. Um, Jessica Dime opened up, I guess, because she asked her. She sees immaturity on both ends, which is true. Which is true. And a uh, judge was getting in Soulja Boy's shit, though, for how he treated her early that morning. It was basically saying, you don't treat nobody like that. You don't, first off, tell somebody to fix your ass something to eat like that. And then once they bring you something to eat, you don't even fucking thank them. Like, how dare you? And then she was like, for your punishment, you got to cook everybody breakfast the next day. And I'm like, for his punishment or everybody else's, bitch? Because this nigga was talking about some hit that shit going to be burnt and shit. And it's like, you a grown-ass man. You a grown ass adult. If you cannot cook eggs, bacon, sausage, motherfucking grits, toast for the morning time, seriously, that is sad as shit. You don't even have to be a chef to cook some goddamn eggs. Stir the pot. Get you some oil. Stir the pot. It'll take you long. Girl. That was like, that shit is pathetic as shit. Ugh. But that's how they ended off, y'all. Episode 3. I'm waiting for episode 4. I even got a... I, I just started watching this, so I don't even know when it come out. I don't know. This one just came out. But but I like this free light. This free light looks good on me. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it. So, um, I'd like to know what you guys think about the show, about everybody. If you agree or disagree, and who you like more. Like, who you think shouldn't be there other than motherfucking Fizz and goddamn me, Tiffany. And let me just say this. Little Fizz and Drew, they're just going to be interchangeable, okay? You can't blame me, all right? Because y'all probably get it fucked up sometimes. Too. All right, though. Y'all have a good one. I don't want to keep y'all. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.